<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. Duck down, duck down. We are stuck. Have we arrived at the beach? We're gonna do some yoga. The liner will be wondering where I am. When the sky falls down, crashes to the ground, I know you will be lying next to me. Oh dear. You were here for oil spills and a grumpy captain last week. I don't want to talk about it. Oh my gosh. An upside down cabin forced my friend Meg to have to camp out in the saloon on her first right. night aboard. Perfect. <laughs> we made the most of a stiff breeze and spent the day sailing up to Egg Island. I was not expecting to get to sail like this today. We've got 15 knots of wind and we're going 10 knots right now. So. Upon arrival, we jumped straight in the water to check out a wreck nearby called the Ari Maroa, and Riles was able to top up the fridge with a few more fish. What have you got? I lost one of your spoons again. Really? One spoon equals one mackerel. I don't think it's worth the sacrifice. I have no utensils left. Mackerel for dinner, so we're gonna invite these guys next door over. So do you consider my spoons a worthy sacrifice for a fish? Uh... Well, it's a 30 cent spoon and a, mm -hmm. I don't know how much this fish would cost. Priceless, priceless cost. memories, Elena. I would just like to know, does anyone know if it matters if you dunk that in salt water? Because I spit on it, but at the end of a hard day's spear fishing, I'm quite dehydrated. Would the salt crystals interfere? Well, I think it's just gonna rust the knife like it is. Yeah, but the, the knife gets salt water on it regardless. I mean like, wetting the stone. I'd like to know from the people at home. Do you have any uh, knife makers? <laughs> Butchers would probably be the go. This is gonna be delicious. It is. A nice little pasta salad, and we're just cooking some mackerel that Riley caught the salvo. Hopefully, it turns out alright. Smells so good. Riley's gonna love it. Butter is life. Butter is life. Butter is life. Loose and hot, couldn't take the fall. Worried thoughts that you lose it all. We got our pals John and Sally over. Say hello, everyone. What brings you to La Vagabond? Uh, we haven't been socializing with anybody <laughs> in quite some time. We arrived here and after a day of hanging out in this anchorage, we realized Sailing La Vagabond was <laughs> anchored next to it. We've been following your blog for a long time. You actually were the ones who inspired us to take a year off and buy a sailboat and do this crazy dream. So the fact that we pulled up right next to you was Pretty crazy. <laughs> awesome. We've arrived at the beach and um, we're going to do some yoga. that was the most relaxing yoga session I've ever had but the no CMs were out <laughs> and they just attacked the heck out of us so we ended up doing like a swim workout thing because um, they don't get you when you're wet so we've just been floating in the shallows feeling good I'm making some hot chocolates Riley's having a mocha and we're all gonna sit around and watch Riley's fishing video <laughs> of him <laughs> missing the snapper which is really, really upset about. I didn't miss it, Elena. I didn't take the shot because I may have injured the fish without taking it home. 
Judge not a spear fisherman by the fish he gets, but by the fish he chooses not to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so, easiest hot chocolate recipe ever. Two teaspoons of cacao powder, sprinkle of cinnamon, hot water, and some coffee creamer. This stuff is the bomb, otherwise just use normal milk. It is raining. I did the sail bag up yesterday, Riles, but not all the way. That's all right. Sorry. <laughs> that would be bad if we were staying here for a long time, but we'll be sailing again soon. We'll have it up and it'll dry out in the sun. Yeah, okay. Sunshine on a rainy day. I was laughing at Meg because she forgot to shut her bedroom hat. <laughs> And da da da. Our whole bathroom is soaked. Oh, really? Lucky it's a wet room. Go into the fridge the other day, and um, this is how Riley has decided to store the crayfish in his favourite cup. So <laughs> we're going to take this to the beach and cook it. I think I... it looks quite cute like that. Looks cute. Yeah. It reminds me, this is a weird comparison, but did you ever see Alf, Alana, or were you too young for that? Alf. Alf. No. He used to eat cats. What? So, any last meows? <laughs> huh? <laughs> no? Thumbs up if you've seen Alf. <laughs> <laughs> We found an old fire here, so we thought that we would uh, use the same spot. Look at all the conch shells they used. I wonder where they found them. I haven't seen any of it. No. Jenny sits by the window all day. I was just going to try and follow this inlet up around the corner, but I'm not sure if I can. It's ah. I honestly just got bitten by a crab. This is really cool though. I don't often come across places like this. This is not really a swamp, which is good because you don't really want a swamp because there's heaps of mosquitoes. It's, but there are obviously mangroves, but it's more like just a river, which is absolutely beautiful. You can see all little fish swimming up current against it. Imagine if you came here and didn't find this place. Be really heartbreak. I gotta get back for lunch. Elena will be wondering where I am. Piece of cake. Guess where I've been? Where? On an adventure. Where? Up a mangrove swamp where the tide was like ripping out. Oh cool. Well we've done a really good job of not eating everything um, before you came back. Thanks girls. <laughs> you a happy chap? Mm. You would be more impressed by this river. It's, pr it's honestly, it's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. After some gentle persuasion, I managed to get the girls into the tender for a cruise. It's so pretty. As you can see here, we've found ourselves in the middle of the river. And we're going to go for a little swim. I'd honestly never seen mangrove wetland this blue and clear before, and I was very surprised by how much I saw underwater. These red mangroves are one of few flowering plants which are specially equipped to live in the ocean. The protein content of mangrove detritus is a rich banquet for the wetland's smallest inhabitants, attracting shellfish, shrimp, crabs, and tiny fish. What are we trying to do here, Ross? Trying to get out without using the uh, engine. Go on uh, blue water rafting. We've gone the wrong way and now Rally has to fight against the wind and the current to go back to the correct. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. Oh dear. Oh my god. Are you okay? Duck down, duck down. We are stuck. We are stuck. We're not gonna budge. It's deep. Forty foot long if it was an inch. No, I, I shot a barracuda for chum, and I was throwing bits of it. And then as I was landing in the reef, I was swimming down. But in the meantime, I had a half a barracuda hanging out of my belt. A shark came up. And there was a literal little one, and then there was a pretty feisty other one. I don't, I don't even know what sort they were. But it came over and sort of wandered into my spear because I was just tracking it with the spear. But it, they just wouldn't leave me alone. And then, and so I was looking at one and then looking at the other and then looking at, the, and they were sort of going around me. And then the second time it came up and like fairly close and I had to bunch it with the spear again. And it bolted off, but by then I was like, I only had the head left of the, Barracuda, so I ditched it. Mm. And then it ate the head and left me alone. Were you scared? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it was lucky, that shark in the end. Mm. I was about to strangle it. It looked like it. This is really good. Is it alright? Yeah, mm. it's really nice. It's not like the way that it used to be. People go. Oh, it's tired this morning. Our friends over on the boat here, I think it's called Call Change, said to come and say goodbye this morning, but they're not awake yet. So if you're out there watching this, guys, see you later. And we are heading off to Abaco's. I think I'll report in a bit later when I'm awake. We're going to leave you here today, but please join us next week as we speed up to the Abaco Islands, meet up with our pal Lewis and all his little pals. The cat. <laughs> and get totally wowed by these islands.